Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. This is an unboxing video for Star Wars Armada's Gladiator class Star Destroyer. Here it is. Hey, you know it's shiny glory. And um, that's the front of the box with the window on, much like the X-Wing boxes mm -hmm. that we've seen before. The back of the box, again, the other side of the ship. So I like the fact you can see these, they're cool. <laughs> and then we get a little bit of the background of the ship there. And a little quick overview of the game contents. That's all you get. No, I'm only kidding. I'm actually <laughs> going to open it up. So there you go. No, it's not. <laughs> well, I am, because I get to play with a knife. So I'm always going to open it up. So let's get this uh, let's get this open without destroying everything. Or cutting myself. That would be bad. So never cut to your wrist like I've just done. That would be terrible <laughs> idea. In my excitement, I'm taking risks I don't need to take. <laughs> right. It's open. So here we have the ship. Voila. And Claire's going to find the other stuff. So we'll take a little bit of protective casing. Here is the gladiator. There we go. It comes out. And there it is. So it's kind of like a, a Star Destroyer with a bit missing. But it's a bit thinner as well. The tapering's a bit different on it. It's got quite a large command deck for a Star Destroyer. It's got all these big guns along the side. It looks a bit like the Decimator, just the front part of it. Yeah, it's got a very sort of Decimator look to yeah, it. Yeah, the two pronged kind of thing. You won't want to get caught in between that. This is obviously much smaller than the Decimator model. Yeah. Though, even though, in reality, it would be much bigger. <laughs> so there's the cool look at the engines. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a little engine in the middle. I like the fact they've painted the engines on these big ships as well. Um, it's easy to do, obviously, on the X-Wing models, but I do like the fact that they've pre-painted them. Well, it gives a bit more... And it's got the classic sort of Star Destroyer... Gives it a bit of vava -va ...rear sort of view. vava -va vava -va That's the adapter for this, so it's, it's a big ship type adapter. And we've got this dome underneath. There we go. And the front of it there, where the fighter bears probably are. There it is. So this is the Gladiator, which I keep calling the Gladius for some reason, best known to myself. <laughs> Which is the smaller uh, cousin to the Victory class so far. And the second Imperial ship to come out. Obviously this is Wave 1, so when you watch this it, they might have loads of ships out by then, but currently they don't. So we get the smaller size base. And we get a smaller size stand. This thing's got two command dials. So obviously it's a bit like the Nebulon B in that respect. And we've got all the plugs for it as well. So we've also got the card inserts, there we go, and there we go, and the other card insert with all the dials on and command tokens. And you also get the little armada cut yeah. out, telling you what's in, telling the, box. You what's in the box. And so that's the component list, the big Disney symbol on. Yeah. So we get two ship cards, two different versions of the ship, like all the other so far. We have the Gladiator 1 and the Gladiator 2, so we'll start with the Gladiator 1. So here it is. We've got uh, one blue defence, two command, two squadrons, three engineering. A lot of black dice. So this guy is going to be getting pretty close to speed 3. So it's also the quickest Imperial ship so far. And those are its upgrades there for 56 points. It's a lot of black dice. We've got a brace, we've got a redirect, and we have an evade. So yeah, an interesting looking ship. Obviously it doesn't have the sort of uh, endurance of a victory class. Like I said, there's a lot of black dice though. So, so that's, the, that's the Gladiator 1. The Gladiator 2, which weighs in at 10 points, not 10 points, can't see. That was 56 points, this is 62 points. And it's same speed. You've got some red dice in there as well as the black dice. Again, you're going to really use this, you're going to need to get close. And you've got the command to squadron to engineering to. You also get two actual anti fighter dice there as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, there you go. You're glad you get the two. Of the two, obviously, you're paying, what's that? Four and two, eight points difference. With some red dice and a better anti fighter dice. I mean, if you're going to be getting closer to the enemy ships, you're probably going to get close to the enemy fighters as well. 
So that is a logical kind of conclusion to have more of them. Uh, hard to tell about which one I like the best. They've both got the same upgrade options. So I'm going to have to think about that. I think probably the two. You've got a few more options with it. But for eight points, that's a TIE Fighter Squadron. Yeah. So, let's have a look at this. And let's get the ship together. So that's the Gladiator 2. So I'm going to use that one. Let's see if I can get this right this time. I have endless fun with these. There we go. Is that going to go in there? It's going to be nice. No, it's not going to go. Damn you! There we go. That was easier than the assault frigate. Uh, so now it needs to go on here. And it goes the latter way around. See, I'm a professional now. I know what I'm doing. He says before falling on his face. It goes in there and it goes forward. Or not. <laughs> well, the good news is it's definitely the right way around this time. It's not going to go in. But I'm going to need to put the dials on here as well. So I'm going to put the dials on and I'm going to get all the dials together. And then we'll have a look at the cards. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah. I've put them on before. Where does it go? Oh, it goes one way. Oh. Which is... That way. It doesn't want to go on that way. Oh. Well, that was the same. There we go. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so there we go. It's definitely on the base this time. It's not going to fall off. Shield markers are on. We've got the two command uh, counters. We've got all the tokens and stuff as well. Okay, so the cards we have Admiral Screed, which is a cool name in anybody's book. Once per activation, when a friendly ship aids attacking, it may spend one dice to change a dice to a critical icon. 26 points. So more crits. We have Admiral, he's an officer this guy actually. Admiral Chinaru. Chinaru. He's not the guy that drives the uh, Death Smear, is he? Similar. Possibly, I've sort of recognised the name. It's a similar name. name anyway. Yeah. So uh, squadrons that you activate can move even if they're engaged. Oh, that's cool. When an engaging squadron moves in this way, treat it as halving its printed speed of two. There we go. It's quite useful for moving around. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have weapons liaison, which we've seen before for three points. There we go, I'll just let you read that. We have sensor team, which looks familiar. Five points. We have a nav team. We have engine techs. There you go. That's eight points. We have expanded launchers, I don't think I've seen this before, it's 13 points, a modification. The battery armament for your frontal zone is increased by two black dice. It's not bad. 
13 points, is it worth it? We have a salt concussion missile. So if you do a black critical, each hull zone adjacent to the defending hull zone suffers one damage. That's pretty brutal as well. So if you combine those last two for 20 points, that could be uh, devastating. Devastating on one of these little things. We have the demolisher for 10 points. During your activation, you perform one of your attacks after you execute a manoeuvre. That's pretty good, actually. Mm. Especially for an idiot like me who does it anyway. And Insidious. The black dice in your battery armament can be used at medium range. This effect only applies while attacking the rear of hull zone of a ship. Three points. So we've got those are the cards that we get with it. A couple of named cards there at the end. To decide what I think is the best to go with this guy. Mm. But it's a cool little ship. I do like. I do quite like it. I didn't when I first saw it, but it's grown on me a lot. I do. I do quite like it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's quite cute. Yeah, a lot of black. It's a strange kind of way. It's going to be coming for you because it's got a lot of black dice, so it's going to be getting in close and personal. Yeah. Probably supporting some squadrons in on the way for extra. So yeah, I like it. So that is the Gladius. I do like the ship, those are the cards, those are the options. This is what you get for your money. Right here in front of you, you get some tokens there as well. So great. Yeah, nice. So I like the ship. Yeah. You? Nice, nice little yeah, ship actually. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So thanks for watching. We've been Panting of the Geeks and as I said we got this from Harlequins, so if you're impressed then give them a shout. Thanks to Harlequins. Yes, thanks to Harlequins, they're great. Yep. <laughs> so go along and see them if you can. And um Please like and subscribe a video, it helps us out loads if you do that. And again, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.